There's a real power that comes from investing in yourself. Recently, Claudia Coffey went to the Shelby Energy Cooperative to find out how people are doing just that. We are at Shelby Energy Cooperative. I'm with CEO Jack Bragg. Jack, thanks for having us. Well, we're glad to have you here. We're um, glad that you came out to see our operation. Specifically, where are we right now? We're in our materials warehouse, and the things behind us here are the materials, the mostly hardware here that we put on our system. Uh, we have a yard outside with poles and wire and all the things it takes to run your utility system. Now, Jack, a lot of people may not be familiar with a cooperative. Explain that for us. How is it different? Well, we are basically designed to serve our member owners, and that's a little different than most utility companies you'll, you'll come across. Uh, most of the time those are, have shareholders. We have, actually each person here is an owner. I'm also a member myself. Uh, many of our employees are members, so you know, we're in the community. We, we live among our customer base, uh, but it's a, a, a great model, business model. That we represent the interests of our, uh, of our member owners. It's a little different than most utilities um, when revenues are exceed uh, our expenses. Those are allocated to each of the members and at some point we pay those actually back to the members. And I like that you all have kind of three words that, that guide you and guide this cooperative. Reliability, safety, and affordability. Tell me about that. Those are our big three yeah. and they're in our mission statement and they're there for a reason. But reliability is every person who's on any utility expects when they hit the switch that the lights come on and they stay on. So we spend every day, we have a great group of linemen to service that. But we, that's one of our main focuses because you know that's what we expect as member owners ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, safety, uh, we, we talk about safety culture. It is a culture, it's a way of life. Um, it's very important in the utility business. It's dangerous work. Uh, we value, we really value our linemen and all of our employees. So we always try to, we, do, we don't, never short uh, cut our uh, investment in safety. Uh, it's also a public uh, issue as well. And so any of your viewers that see any problems on an electric line, do not approach it. You know, call the professionals because it's a very dangerous situation. What about affordability? Affordability, I, I use an expression that's borrowed, but uh, is act like an owner. We are owners, but you know, I think people behave differently when their own money's involved. So uh, we just try to keep that in mind. We try to be good stewards of the assets our members give us, and we try to provide them the best service with uh, for the cheapest price. And because we, you know, one of our goals is to pay them back capital credits at some point. Now, another way that you all are involved in the community is that you all are incredible partners when it comes to economic development here. That is that is correct. Um, we do it through a number of avenues. Um, East Kentucky Power, which is our, GNT, our generation transmission company, they're paramount to bring a lot of development in the Kentucky area. And we, obviously, it's a self-serving uh, interest. We, we want to see our system grow. Mm -hmm. So we work with them pretty hand in, in glove. Um, I'm a member of the uh, Shelby County Industrial Foundation, so I'm on that board. Uh, they do a wonderful job here of attracting uh, business to Shelby County. We also deal with the I-71 Connected Group, which is a consortium of counties up and down 71 exclusive of the Louisville and the Northern Kentucky metro areas to bring development into these areas. Uh, we work with all the judge executives in each of the counties. They're a key player in us developing these areas. Well, if people have not been out to Shelby County, what a great community. People should come on it's, out and visit. It's a wonderful place. People are friendly. Not, you know, traffic is better, you know, a beautiful area. So from a residential standpoint, you're easily accessible to Louisville. Uh, from a business perspective, we, um, you know, obviously we're in the infrastructure business. We provide good infrastructure. Uh, we're, we have uh, customers now. We were paramount in getting a uh, bullet distillery here. Uh, we serve the uh, outlet mall in Simpsonville. So we're, we're very capable and we want business to know that we're in a great location as far as proximity to the rest of the country. Jack, thank you so much. Thank you. For Great Day Live, I'm Claudia Coffey. Thanks, Claudia. I recently got to talk to the president of CoStar Charities and coming up, we're gonna learn more about all the good that they're bringing to Shelby County and talk to all these seniors. So Luke, take it away. We'll be right back, Great Day Live.